China has some impressive high-speed railways, as we all know, and they've been asked by the Serbian government to set them up on their soil. Now, over the next few minutes, we're going to find out some of the things behind this deal that might surprise you. Is China building its empire or railing Serbia? How do Serbians just see and mute their mouths? Serbia has geared up to open its first ever high-speed railway that spans a total of 75 kilometers, connecting two of the largest cities, Belgrade and Novi Sad. The project is part of a much bigger vision to connect the capital city of Serbia to Budapest, the capital of Hungary. Talking about China, it is one of the fastest growing countries in the world. Talking about their manpower and construction, China is far ahead of many other countries. They have their equality in the sector. China's fastest rail is always a dream for other countries. The Chinese empire was not built in a day. They worked for years and years to achieve these milestones. They have already proved what they are capable of. China should prepare for more manpower because most of the other countries are waiting to deal with it for their huge projects. Before we move ahead, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an update on China's growth. The entire route spans a total of 360 kilometers, out of which 184 kilometers is within Serbia and the rest 166 kilometers within Hungary. If you're someone from Serbia who's tuning into this for the first time, then it might sound to you like great news indeed. Finally, some faster travel. The route is expected to cut short the time significantly between the two cities from its current 8 hours to 3 hours. That's almost 5 hours less. Imagine saving 5 hours of your trip every day. That's 35 hours every week. Pretty significant, I know. This entire project is not merely a solution to reduce the travel time between the two cities, but the first step to making the country a modern transportation hub with Europe. The contract was signed back in 2018 with China Railway International and China Communications Construction Company for 943 million euros. Now, all of that sounds fair and good, but do you think China is just helping out Serbia as a friend who just needed some help, or is there something else? Chinese companies and the government have been notorious for their evil practices when it comes to setting up companies within international lands. Similar projects within Serbia had also come under a lot of scrutiny. One of them is the multi-million dollar sewer system in Kragujevac, which was given a green light even without giving any tender or public procurement. Now, this raised a lot of transparency and corruption issues regarding how they operated within the country. The Chinese government is now trying to enforce their culture throughout the world, as quoted by their leader Xi Jinping. But their history with the European Union isn't the smoothest after all. So Serbia, being one of the most vulnerable non-EU members, could certainly solve their problem for a free pass to the EU. It's all fun and games until you realize that you've got a billion dollars in debt to a not-so-merciful government that already has its roots set up deep inside your territories. Relationships between China and Serbia have been quite good. China has its embassy set up in Belgrade and Serbia and Beijing as well. Both countries also agreed to provide visa-free entry for the citizens. Beijing has started various large-scale projects within Serbia, with the Belgrade-Budapest railway line being the most infamous of all. Serbia's political and diplomatic relations have been greatly driven by the Kosovo issue. Now, back in the day, China and Russia were the only two major allies they had when it came to this. Russia is their only energy supplier. While the Americans were busy carrying out bombings in Yugoslavia, they accidentally hit the Beijing embassy in Belgrade, killing three Chinese citizens, including two journalists. This pretty much confirmed Serbia's tilt towards the communist nation as a new savior from the West. Trades between Serbia and China have tripled to $1.6 billion between 2005 and 2016. The exports from China turned out to be $1 billion. Looking at all of this, there is a huge chance that Serbia might end up taking a lot of loans from China to fund their projects and might end up not being able to pay them back. That's going to be a really bad situation for their economy and their already not-so-good living conditions. We might just see a Sri Lanka sort of situation erupting within the Balkan country soon if the projects and the Chinese government's plans are not well thought out through. Wait, maybe we should stop demonizing the Chinese government too much. What if they mean real business? The growth of Serbia? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Comment down your thoughts below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to our channel. See you again in the next video.